Oh my goodness, guys, I am so sorry about that holdup. Hang on. I'll do my usual intro in a moment. I need to make sure my PNG tuber is working. Wait for it. There I am. Alright, what's up everybody? My name is Tentacle, and welcome back to more Splatoon 3 challenges. Oh man, I have been on a hiatus from here recently just to rejuvenate my mind and reinvigorate myself, and oh boy did I need it. I feel so much better mentally. Now, I mainly did this for the sake of my mental health. I still got a long ways to go before I can think of any other videos besides what I've already started editing and anything else I can make from my side order playthroughs. But still, it feels nice to be back. Now let's see, who do we got in the chat? We got Lando, we got Sage, we got Mr. Cheese, and we got Lurkers. All right. Now let's see. Dang it, I already forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, never mind, I remember. So, here's the deal. Normally, whenever I do challenge streams, I usually allow five games per lobby, but this time, because it's a ranked mode for the upcoming Curling Bomb Challenge, I believe it's Zones. Let's see. Yeah, it's Zones. I'm only going to be doing three games per lobby. Maybe the next time there's a Turf War challenge that I would be willing to stream, I'll do five games per lobby again. But I think... By doing three this time, it'll help me get things moving a bit more easily. Other than that, rules are the same as private battles. Only join once. Use the stream pool code to join. Here it is if you guys need it. And I'll type it in the chat every so often as well. Gonna be using the right hand number pad as well so that way it doesn't break my PNG tuber in half and I'm thinking I will be playing this challenge with you guys for about an hour because I still want to have plenty of time to check out F-099 yes we're, <laughs> we're returning to a game that I haven't streamed in months there's a lot of new stuff happening in F-099, and I want to see how many of the newest courses we can check out. I also know that private lobbies were added to F-099, but for the sake of, like I said earlier, keeping things moving quickly, I'll be doing public lobbies only. However, during that time, if you guys ever want to join me, I will type the word go in chat. So that way anyone who's in the chat or lurking can try to stream snipe me. I don't mind that when I play F-099. But other than that, I hope you guys are doing well. I would have streamed this tomorrow morning instead, but I don't really want to because like with the drums versus guitar versus keyboard Splatfest, I'll have a chance to get another rare shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Go. This time it's Heracross. The Mega Evolution of Heracross is going to be added to Pokemon Go for the first time ever, tomorrow. And, <laughs> you know what's even better? Whoops, wrong one. You know what's even better? That's not all. 
because the very next weekend, there is going to be a community day for Bellsprout in Pokemon Go. So I'll be able to catch two rare shiny Pokemon within the span of two weekends. And the odds are going to be very much in my favor. Un Blech, voice crack. Unfortunately, though, the Bellsprout Community Day kind of does line up with when I wanted to, to stream Springfest. So... There may come a time where I hunt for shiny Bellsprout in between my Splatfest matches. And yeah, Sage does bring up a good point. You have to have an active Switch Online membership to be able to play F-099. It's a very fast-paced game as well. How we doing before the challenge? Pretty well there, Hala. Hope you're doing well too. And what's up, Snow Jelly? Don't worry, by the way. By the time we get into our first battle, I'm gonna remove the shiny hair across gif. Or maybe I won't, I don't know. During the drums, guitar, and keyboard Splatfest, I did the same thing for Groudon, and I never got that. Still kind of sad about that. But at the very least, Mega Heracross will still be available in Pokemon Go after tomorrow. Tomorrow's event is just a really easy way to get Shiny Heracross. But yes, this is our challenge. Toss out jumbo-sized curling bombs in this frenetic challenge. I've got to see how large these curling bombs are. And I'm feeling pretty well, Snow Jelly. Thanks for asking. Oh great, a double EXP ticket. Let me see what's in the shops before I make a lobby. Oh, nice! Look at that! That has to be the cutest splash tag banner I've ever seen. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't match my little buddy's hairstyle. But hey, what can you do? I am actually gonna get this because I don't like having comeback on the pilot goggles. So, yeah. If you guys wanna join me for the curling bomb challenge, I'm about to create a room. Let me also type the pool code in the chat. Or there's not the chat, the description. Excuse me. And it looks like we're only going to have primary gear abilities enabled this time. I have no idea what that is, Sage, but, uh... I did not choose it for that reason. I chose Bear Cubs basically at random because I was being really, really freaking indecisive. I just wanted to pick a team anyway. Oh, it's something from an ARG? Okay. I getcha. So, just to recap the rules, we're only going to be doing three games per lobby this time instead of five. Only join once, for now, and then 
once everyone has played in one lobby, I'll allow rejoining. But yes, to answer you guys' questions from earlier, I am going to be on Team Bear Cubs. My choice was originally going to be Team Bunnies, but after I saw the extremely overwhelming popularity of that team, I didn't want to have a repeat of the Days of the Weekend Splatfest. A part of me still wanted to do that anyway, but then after I sort of thought about it a little more, I thought it was best to just pick a different team, and thus I chose Bear Cubs. Now let's see how big these curling bombs are. Holy moly, that's huge. All right, now we're cooking. And you can still cook them, speaking of which. That is actually a term, by the way. In warfare, if you hold a bomb or a grenade or something like that before throwing it, that's called cooking it. Back in the day, I used to play Call of Duty games, so that's how I learned that term. But yeah, that's a huge bomb. Also, what's up, Dylan? How you doing? I imagine their damage output is much greater, too. Because as you can see, I just got comboed. By the way, how's the game audio? It's a little quiet through my headphones, but let me know if it's quiet for you guys too, and I'll turn it up after this battle. Audio's good? Nice. For some reason, it sounds unusually quiet for me. But I think it's... I think it sounds that way because I haven't streamed in ages. Whoa, Nelly! You're not even gonna let me have my Tacticooler? Okay, you guys are asking for it. I think I'm gonna switch to the end parry duelies after this. Or the sploosh, and I can do Hyper Tiger Crowd. Look at that insane double splat, though. That was amazing. Ah, worth a shot. Oh, well. Yeah, I think I am going to swap to the end parry duelies. GG's either way. And hey, who knows? Maybe I'll get my silver triple splashdown badge this way. Don't worry, guys. We still got, like, 55 minutes before I swap over to F-099. We got plenty of time. Right then. I'm also going to change my gear because I completely forgot to do so anyway. So let's see. We'll do... Swim speed. Special charge. And... QR. Sure. I look ridiculous, but I don't care. Also, my stream preview appears to have stopped. Oh, there we go. It just fixed itself. That was weird. Maybe I should have put in ink recovery up somewhere.
Just before I started my break earlier this week, by the way, I actually edited the final two episodes of my Super Mario Galaxy Let's Play. So those should be coming out by the end of the month. I'm so excited for you guys to see them. I purposefully cut out a bunch of the unnecessary junk in those episodes, so they might be a little short. But besides that, it feels so good to finally be done with Super Mario Galaxy. It's still as fun as I remember. And I've said this already, but my next Let's Play after I finish uploading Super Mario Galaxy will be Crash Bandicoot 2. I said long ago that I would still finish the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, and I'm not backing down on my word. Hey, Roller, are you there? Dang it! Me being the dummy that I am, I forgot curling bombs can one-hit KO now. With the, uh, you know. With the trail. They normally can't. I wonder what happened to our mystery friend there. Let's run that one back, considering our other teammate disconnected. I won't count that one. It's gonna count... It's gonna count as no contest for us anyway, considering they DC'd so soon. I think. Wait, what? Oh! Oh, it still counts as a loss because the enemy team knocked us out! Oh, dang it! Well, whatever. We're still gonna run it back. I'm still gonna choose the end parry dualies, and you guys can pick whatever weapons. Also, that's fair, Hala. Thanks for letting me know. Ooh, paintbrush might not be bad. Maybe I'll switch to that in the next lobby. The reason why I am basically starting with the end parry dualies is because my thought was... If you follow behind a gigantic curling bomb, people will be distracted by avoiding it, and then you can go in and splat them up close. But we'll see. Hmm, we got a second paintbrush on our side. That might be useful. But yeah, see what I mean? Because of how big the curling bombs are, you'd think that would be a good enough bait, you know? This first lobby is kind of a way to test the waters, I guess. Whoa, that nearly one hit KO'd me, and I'm not getting hit by that, are you crazy? I actually rolled away from that. I can't believe it. Nope. Seems like these giant curling bombs move about the same speed as a regular one. Get the heck out of here! That was clean! 
Holy mackerel, that has got to be the best case of teamwork I've ever seen in one of my streams in a very long time. Props to you guys. Wow. GG's. All right, that felt good after that humiliating loss from the last lobby. No fist bump, but eh, what are you gonna do? We got one more game in this lobby, don't go anywhere. Even though it technically reset our win streak. I'm still counting that. Ooh, that'll be useful. And I think I am gonna change around my gear a little bit. Hmm. Subsaver might be good. I could wear these really weird looking shades. But nah, I think I know what I'm gonna do. Uh, do this, and... This, sure, perfect. Red and black. Good combo. That win got you two catalog levels? Nice, Sage. You love to see it. I want to see if having Subsaver makes any impactful difference on these gigantic curling bombs. Oh, that's not the same Scarlet from our community. That's someone different. I thought that was them for a second. Alright, let's get going. These things are going to be flying at us from all over. At least I got rid of one of their splooshes. Dang. Comeback, run speed up, and stealth jump on a heavy edit. They might be cooking. Oh, they activated their tactic cooler. No, you don't. See, I told you you wouldn't. Or maybe you did, and I tunnel visioned, I don't know. Good gravy! What is this? There you go, get out of here. This is my turn. Kind of. Wow! I'm a lousy aim. I should find a way to make the heavy edit work in this challenge. I don't know. Just thinking out loud here. Your catalog level 78 now? Nice, Sage. Oh, man! I was kind of hoping my curling bomb would bounce off the wall and then splat the sploosh player, but eh. Oh, we're absolutely cooked. Hmm. I'm trying to think here. What are some other funny strategies we could we could use? Whoa! Don't you dare! Ah! Uh, I saw that, Hala. It was a worthy try, but. Alas, we were just a smidge too late. GG's. While that's going on, I want to see if I missed anything. No, although I will need to watch that later.
I can't wait to look for shiny Heracross, man. Shiny Heracross is one of those Pokemon that I think looks good in pink. Very few good pink shiny Pokemon exist. Another example of a good pink shiny is Haunchcrow. Subsaver doesn't seem to have very much of a difference, so you know what? I'm gonna see if I can give my heavy edit strategy another shot. And I gotta rep my Splatfest team as well. Let's also change over to... Whoa, that was weird. Where the heck is it? There we are. Let's try this. No, we're not going solo queue. I still want to play with viewers game. There we go. By the way, Snow Jelly, Mr. Cheese, if either of you are... Oh, there's Mr. Cheese. But Snow Jelly, if you're around and want to join, feel free. So long as there's still space in this lobby. Just remember to use my stream pool code. Also, what's up, Rockman? How you doing? We're over here checking out the Splatoon 3 Curling Bomb Challenge. Nice pick there, Mr. Cheese. And what's up, Eclipse Knight? You just got a badge for buying 10 concessions? Yeah, I believe it's the Marigold badge. You get another from... A hundred concessions and another at a thousand. Next round, your switch is currently charging. Fair enough, Snow Jelly. Just extending the offer. Again, here's the... Whoops. Here's the stream pool code if you guys want to join me. I'll leave this open a little bit longer. Excuse me. Do I like your outfit? Let me see. Yo, that looks sick. That gets a thumbs up from me. I love it. There, I can finally send out another notification. Remember, by the way, when you are in my stream pool, you have to find my room in this menu. You can't... you can't find my room in the regular challenges menu, I don't think. Either that or it's much harder to do so. I don't know. I've always joined pool rooms from the envelope menu. All right, it doesn't seem like anyone else wants to join, so Sage and or Hala, if either of you are still here, you're more than welcome to take that last spot. Let me send out the notification again. And you know what? I think I am going to keep that hair across on the stream for now. All right, let's do this. We got ourselves a variety squad. By the way, Rockman, Snow Jelly, and Mr. Cheese, what are your Splatfest teams? If you have decided yet. I already said I was going for Bear Cubs.
Snow Jelly is on Team Bunnies. All right. You're most likely going to go with Bear Cubs, Mr. Cheese. That's cool. Now, that does remind me. I'm hoping to do another collab this time. Like how last time I collabed with Kuro for the Team Keyboard Splatfest. I've already asked someone. I've yet to get a response. But if they do say yes, I will be able to have another collab on this channel. Which always makes me happy. Because if I'm being real, I am terribly nervous about asking people for collabs. I've been trying to get better at it this year. Well, I got someone! I think you said in the in my server that you were going to go with Team Baby Chicks. I know Saw Sandra is also on that team. But yeah, going back to that, I'm hoping that in the future I can continue to do collabs on my channel. I want to be able to improve my socialness. Or, sorry, that's not a word. My sociability. That's a word. Nice. I saw that triple splash down there, Mr. Cheese. Nice cleanup. Well, a bunch of people got splatted there. All right. Good on you guys. Dang it! I was trying to not trade with that person, but whatever. Thanks for the cleanup, Paula. Whoa, giant curling bomb. Let's see if I can drop another cooler for you guys. Did that still count? No, it did not. Oh, these curling bombs are special, Eclipse Knight. Because they're so massive, their damage output has increased as well. You can get KO'd from a curling bomb that hasn't even finished its full path yet. That's how powerful these are. Oh, come on, dude. Did you get a triple KO earlier, Mr. Cheese? If so, I'm sorry I missed it. Get out of here. Not me, you dummies. I should have known that going into this type of challenge, this would have been a thing. And that was weird. My Octoling was kind of halfway transformed there. I didn't even know that was possible. Hmm. Ten KOs is not bad by my standards, because, in fairness, I have not played the heavy edit in a very long time. Let's keep going, though. Two more games, and then we'll make a new lobby. Change weapons if you want. I'm gonna be sticking with the heavy edit, though. Your triple splashdown got two players and then you splatted someone else right after. Nice. I love it when stuff like that comes together.
All right, then. Someone on the enemy team is named Sharkbait. That makes me think of Finding Nemo. Oh, dear goodness. That is a team full of splooshes. We are in trouble. I mean, we will be if we don't play our cards right. You can kindly get out of our turf. Honestly, before I swap over to F-099, I do want to try a meme team. Maybe not with the sploosh, but with something. Dagnabbit! Why would... Oh! Wait, hang on. Object Shredder may not be bad on this challenge because there could be people who play the vanilla roller. And that has the big bubbler, as you know. Got him! Man, I'm good. Part of me wishes that all gear ability slots were enabled for this challenge, but I guess I can see why they weren't. It would be really OP otherwise. Gotcha! Okay, I deserve that one. This is going to be a very back and forth challenge. I'm gonna see if I can swap back to the end parries. This challenge is making you rage. Hmm. It's certainly something, I can say that much, Eclipse Knight. Oh my gosh, I just got a notification from someone on Twitter that said, a curling bomb focused challenge? Y'all automatically lose to me. This challenge is amazing. That person must have a main weapon that uses curling bombs. And you know, between you and me, another reason why I chose to do three games per lobby is so if we get on terrible losing streaks, it won't affect us. I wonder if this setup is good with the end parries. I guess we'll find out. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Hang on, that does remind me. Were you guys ever around for the work the angles challenge? If you weren't, that challenge was freaking amazing. You could only use angle shooter weapons, but they took longer to come out, consumed a lot more ink, and could one-hit KO. This is what the curling bomb challenge reminds me of. It's basically work the angles, but with, well, curling bombs. But between you and me, I like the angle shooter challenge a lot more. Before I create my next lobby, I want to see how many weapons have curling bombs compared to angle shooters. I want to say curling bombs are fewer. All right, that's good to hear, Snow Jelly. Also, what's up, Nostalgia King? How you doing? We got giant curling bombs because that is the current challenge that is happening in Splatoon 3. You can only use curling bomb weapons. The bombs themselves consume a lot more ink, but they have a chance to one-hit KO from basically anywhere. Also, you can only use the primary abilities of your gear. They must have done that to prevent things from getting too out of hand. Whoa! 
The legit fear in my voice there. Holy mackerel. But okay, that was... Shoot. What number game was that? I want to say that was number three. Does anyone here in this lobby know? Also, nice fist bump there, Hala. I want to say this was game number three. Or wait. No, no, it was two. Or no, wait, it was three. Never mind. I was right the first time. So yeah, I'm gonna break the lobby. Sorry, guys. I got a little confuzzled. I was on the right track anyway. Oh, sorry. I think I... I think I worded myself incorrectly there, Nostalgia King. What I meant to say was, this challenge disables your secondary gear slots. So, for example, I won't be able to use the sub-slots of Ink Recovery, Special Charge, Special Saver, Swim Speed Up, QR, and Sub Power Up. I'm only able to use Comeback, Special Power Up, and Run Speed Up. Challenges like that equate to having to get some really good strategies in place. Like here, for example. I don't want to use special power-up with a triple splashdown weapon. I'd rather use something like special saver. You're on Team Little Bunnies? Alright then, Nostalgia King, I'm going to be on Team Bear Cubs. Alright, now, let me see. How many weapons have curling bombs? Ten? Versus angle shooters. Oh! Well, never mind. At the time of the angle shooter challenge, I guess only three or four weapons had that sub-weapon. Meanwhile, for here, must have been like six or seven, so no. I had it reversed. Angle shooter weapons were more rare back in the day. That may be so, Nostalgia King, but I think this Splatfest is just focused on the baby animals themselves. And I pretty much picked my team at random. Snow Jelly's already in this lobby, so I think for now rejoining will be allowed. Oh, nice, Mr. Cheese! You love to see it! We got one more spot open. Remember, the pool code is the following. There we go. Sorry, spring allergies. Did I play Splatoon 1 before the servers shut down? Unfortunately, I didn't. I am aware that the Splatoon 1 servers officially shut down as of Tuesday? Yeah, Tuesday. But unfortunately, I packed away my Wii U ages ago and it was buried somewhere in my attic. I didn't want to pull it out. So I just resorted to watching other streams of it. 
that at least helped me enjoy the final hours of Splatoon 1 vicariously. And for those who don't know, the word vicariously means doing something via other people. So, for example, in this context, I was able to enjoy the final moments of Splatoon 1 via other people's streams. So it wasn't a total loss. I just wish I were there to play it myself, you know. Oh, yeah. I understand, Sage. That makes sense. Whoops. There we go. I guess you and I were kind of on the same wavelength. Or no, sorry. What I meant to say was, we achieved the same end result. What do we got this time? Once again, we have ourselves a variety squad. Oh boy, double heavy edit. Watching Jmoji's stream almost made you cry, then. Same with Vic Vion, honestly. Both Jay and Vic were able to outlast the shutdown by doing private battles. And I think Jay did Turf War, too. But when I was watching Vic's stream... The speeches she was giving really made me tear up. Splatoon 1 may, may be gone now, but I will never forget it. And yup, that pretty much confirms it. If someone disconnects on your team during a challenge, you will be auto-assigned a loss. Did you DC from that, Snow Jelly? I couldn't tell, I'm sorry. Once again, we're not gonna count that. Oh, it was our friend from before. Uh, to the person whose in-game username is Fry in all lowercase, if you're watching this stream, please try not to join for a little while. I don't want you to have your internet issues impact your ability to join me. If you need time to fix your internet, please do so. Eclipse Knight, if you're still here, you're more than welcome to join. If that were to happen, Nostalgia King, then the battles would be very uneven. What should happen is when someone disconnects early enough, the losing team, in air quotes, shouldn't be assigned a loss. It should just be treated like regular battles where... where only the person who disconnected gets penalized. That would make more sense to me, anyway. I don't know about any of y'all. Okay, we got someone new. Ah, uh, that's understandable, Eclipse Knight. The challenge is making you heated. Hmm, alright. Aw, oh, dang it! I forgot to put that in the rules! Ah! Whatever, it's fine. I was gonna... I was gonna say the 52 Gal Deco is banned, but... We're close to the end of this segment anyway, so... I'm not gonna bother. 
I'll only have enough time to do one more lobby before I swap over to F099. That's one of your friends? Oh, understandable, Snow Jelly. I'm not mad at them. I was just... I was just saying that because I forgot to put that in the rules. I was blaming myself. Why do I not want the 52 gal deco? The special weapon that it has, the splatter color screen, makes a sound that can give a lot of people headaches. So I think it's in my best interest that I keep the special weapon banned from my channel until Nintendo fixes the sound. I know I can't stop the enemy team from doing that, but I at least want to do that for my team, you know? That being said, thank you to everyone in the chat who has joined and has not kicked the 52 Gal Deco. I'm glad you guys understand. But yeah, in short, the splatter color screen is not user friendly at all. Yeah, what Sage said. It could potentially trigger some vision disabilities. Or audio disabilities. There was a time when the splatter color screen made your game brighter instead of darker. And that was even worse, because it was like getting hit by a really slow flashbang in any other third person shooter. I'm not sure what you mean by that, Nostalgia King, but you gotta remember, not everyone is as resistant to the effects of the splatter color screen. Gotta show some respect, you know. I get what you mean, but that can come off as rude. Besides that, I thought I had something else I wanted to talk about, but I forgot what it was. Oh well. Oh yeah, now I remember. Now I remember. Okay, it's a good thing I did remember. And I'm sorry, I smacked my desk there. May 19th marks my five year anniversary on YouTube. It's hard to believe that five years ago, on May 19th, I went live with a Splatoon 2 Splatfest for the first time. Incorrect grammar, but the point still stands. And I've got a huge plan in mind for my five-year anniversary celebration. Get the heck out of here. For my last channel anniversary stream, I played multiple different games, but I think for this one, I'm only gonna play one. I've already decided what game it is, but I'm not gonna share any info about it until May 1st. I don't wanna spoil the surprise, you feel me? Get the heck out of here! Frickin' and Perry Dooley's users. There's only room for one on the field, and that's me. But yes, next month will mark my five-year anniversary on YouTube, and I got something amazing planned for it. I cannot wait to show you guys when the time comes. Sick win, by the way. You got a triple there? Nice, Snow Jelly. Let's see if I get a fist bump with Hala or... 
There we go. I was gonna say, or Snow Jelly's friend. Since that other person DC'd in the last match, I'm not gonna count that one as match number one. The one we just did is match number one. All right then, two more. Yeah, you see what I mean, Eclipse Knight? For those of you who are asking, why would the sound of the splatter color screen cause migraines or whatever? The best way I could describe the sound of the splatter color screen is really, really, really low quality soda fizzing. It's at such a weird frequency and, uh, I guess, quality that the hissing sound can really get in your head and cause headaches. Some players have actually reported getting migraines from it, like Eclipse Knight is saying. Also, what's up, JD? How you doing? You four-starred the vanilla sloshing machine last night for a certain reason. <laughs> I could surmise a guess, but yeah. Congrats on that. I was kind of hoping to make progress towards four stars on the heavy edit during this challenge, but I don't think I'll be able to. Whoa, that was some lag. That didn't seem good. Yeah! That's another way to describe it. Sage has a good description there. Really bad static on a CRT TV. And you guys know how staticky those can get. I hate to do a panic triple splashdown, but it was the best way for me to get rid of that other end parries user. Is the sound that bad? For me, no. I got hit by the screen not too long after it got nerfed and it didn't affect me that much. But for some, it can be bad. I'm just going off of what I've heard other people say on streams and on social media and all that. But yeah. In short, the splatter color screen is going to be banned from my streams still until the sound gets fixed in some way. Just like the brightness issue from the past, it's going to take a long time for Nintendo to fix it. This is something pretty big in terms of the game's coding. I wouldn't be surprised a bit if they don't fix it until the Sizzle Season 2024 starts in June. Honestly, JD, that's how I felt with the orange end zap when it first released. I got four stars on the orange end zap pretty quickly because I was playing it so much. You know? I hear that other Duelies player. Man! I was clicking in the right stick. I don't know if that picked up on the mic. This may have to be the last lobby. I'm sorry, guys. I don't think I'll have enough time to do another full set of three. Yeah. The more I'm looking at it, I think that's going to be true. The next game is the last one. Still want to make sure I have plenty of time to switch over to F-099 and enough time to raid someone at the end of the stream. How in the... Hmm. 
sorry, talking out loud. Also, what's up, Nikki? How are you doing? We're kind of getting our butts kicked in the curling bomb challenge. Not to worry, though. If you guys want more shots at doing well in this challenge, it'll be going on for a pretty long while tomorrow morning and afternoon. So, there you go. I'm sorry, Rockman, but I... I decided this next battle is going to be the last one. I don't have enough time to do another full set of three. You're more than welcome to stick around for the F-099 stuff, though. I honestly can't wait to show that to you guys because I've been practicing. Ooh, nice! We're ending the last battle with my favorite multiplayer song. Yes, No Quarters is my favorite multiplayer song. What of it? Aw, oh, man! I was kind of hoping I could do, like, a blind curling bomb shot there. You gotta go too? All right, Snow Jelly. I take it you're going after this battle. Oh wait, sorry, no. You were talking about no quarters. Never mind. It is a great song. Sometime in the future, I wanna do a Splatoon 3 tier list where I rank every multiplayer song. Like, the ones you hear in regular battles. I think that'd be really fun. Hmm. Okay, this, this battle's very uneven, so I think I'm gonna have to run it back. I hope you guys are okay with that. Unless I can turn the tides right here. How did I miss? I'm sorry. I'm calling shenanigans on that. There was no way I should have missed all of those shots against the roller there. I call massive shenanigans there. What the heck? Oh boy. Don't test me like that game. I will get mad. You guys rarely see me rage, but when I do, oh boy, it's not pretty. Whoa, giant curling bomb. Okay. This is starting to swing the other way a little bit, as it were. So, I think this still might be the last battle. I'll stay back and guard. You guys can go ahead if you want. I don't care. I think I'm gonna just chuck a bunch of curling bombs this way. No, you don't. I said no. Denied, uh, Jakey Bro. That's your username. You're kidding. There! Get wrecked! Jeez, okay. I think I get what Eclipse Knight was saying earlier. I think I made the right choice only doing this for an hour instead of the full two. Not mean to do the panic splashdown. Sorry. I didn't even get to use special saver there because I already used my triple splashdown. That's how much of a panic that was. I need to learn to not do that as much. I swear that spruce player is lagging a little bit. Or wait, no, sorry. 
it wasn't the spruce player, it was the roller. I already established the roller player might be lagging. Get out of here. Ah, not quite. Oh well. Smart idea using drop roller there. Ah, dang it. I should have pushed forward. Did not mean to do that. And hey, at the very least, for this battle, we went down swinging. Props to y'all for that. Nice, nice double KO. I don't think that's gonna be enough though. Yeah, they got us. Oh well. Okay, final verdict on a scale of one to 10, I think this, this challenge is a six out of 10. Fun in concept, but terrible in execution. I'm sorry. This ain't it for me. I don't know if you guys feel the same, but that's my rating. Six out of ten. And now it is time for F099. So I can delete this from the thing. And I'll change the stream title. So many new tracks. Mirror mode? And then... There we go. Sorry, Flagman. If you're still live, I'm, I'm done playing Splatoon 3 for this. Now let's change back to something else. Some gear that I can actually feel more comfortable in. There we go. And then we'll change the game to F099. And then I'll notify Twitter that we swapped I'm not going to be checking this out for very long, only for like 30 minutes. But in this time, I want to see how many of the new tracks we can check out. Oh, and wouldn't you know, look there, see? There's a Mirror Queen League Grand Prix right now. So I think I'm going to check that out. But first, I want to see what decals you get for it. That's it for the wild goose. There's the one for the golden fox. There's the one for the blue falcon. And... Ooh, this one looks cool. I think I'll give it a try with this, the fire stingray. Oh, ah, you know what? I'm still gonna do the go thing, so I'm not doing this now. Switching over to F-099 now. Because I'm mostly gonna be doing public lobbies, I'll type the word GO in the chat whenever I join a lobby. So three, two, one, GO! This one's mostly full, so get in while you can. Well, we got someone. And you know, that does remind me of a story. 
Last time I streamed F099, I streamed sniped two different streamers. So I'm kind of hoping I do the same here. Anyway, if you've never seen F099 before, it's basically a Battle Royale version of the original F0 on the SNES. And I'll show you how it works. Hold B to accelerate. Press ZR to do a spin attack. And whenever your meter in the top right corner is all rainbow colored, press A to boost. And those alternating yellow lines on the ground indicate a recovery area. Your vehicle can get KO'd if you're not careful. Because, you know, this is a battle royale. You don't have this game, you only play Mario Kart for racing games. That's fair. In all honesty, before this game came out, the only racing game I had ever played was Mario Kart. The only time I had ever played Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled was for my birthday in 2019. But I sold the game a while back. I don't think it's that fun anymore. It was during the time I owned it, though. When I was active in Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, my main was Ripper Roo. Oh yeah, again, going back to this game, I was gonna be all like, oh hey, check it out, they added a mirror mode a little while ago, but I kid you not, last night this game added the Mirrored Queen League. Before last night, the only Mirror Mode Grand Prix that was in F-099 was the Night League. So this is brand new. The tracks I'm about to race on from here on out are brand new. It's nuts, man. It's nuts. Unfortunately, since I placed so low, I have to wait for the rest of the people to catch up. Depending on how well you place, that'll grant you a certain amount of points. If you place really high, you get upwards of 200 points, like that guy. So it's in your best interest to not only finish the race in a high placing, but also play aggressive. Why is there a shiny Heracross in the corner? I was talking about it at the beginning of the stream, JD. I'm gonna be looking for it in Pokemon Go tomorrow afternoon. That's why I chose to stream tonight instead of tomorrow morning. Oh, by the way, welcome to one of my least favorite courses in the game, Port Town 1. This is the only one of two courses in the game, besides, well, Port Town 2, to have electric barriers. Not the... Not the yellow circles that are lining the track. I'm talking about the purple lines that I just passed. 
Those are electric magnetic barriers. Did you also know, by the way, Port Town 1 was the first course I ever placed first place on. So, by, <laughs> by my inadvertent hating this course with a passion, it got to a point where I was able to do really well here. I'm probably... I guess I should have mentioned this, too. I'm probably not going to stream F-099 again until the Mirror Mode King League gets added. That was a very bad time for me to do that. Okay. In the next race, by the way, I am going to make sure to talk about the yellow pellets that I've been collecting. Because those are a very integral part of F-099. Okay, good. Everyone finished around the same time. I don't think I stream sniped anyone else or the other way around. Top 50! Woo! Oh, good! I at least like Red Canyon 1. Even in reverse. I've played this course before. Mm, excuse me. Sorry, that was very rude. I had dinner before this stream. But okay, check this out. Mirror mode... Or, sorry. Red Canyon has my favorite song in the game. But I do want to talk about those little yellow pellets that I've been collecting. As you noticed, or didn't notice, I don't know, there is another meter below my boost meter, and it's really small and yellow. That is called your Skyway meter. You collect little yellow pellets called Super Sparks in order to fill it up. And then when it's completely full, you get to boost on the Skyway. And I crashed out. Lovely. But yes, the way the Skyway works is, depending on how far back you are from the rest of the crowd, that determines how long you're able to boost on it. Ooh, that's cool looking. Dang! Three matches. Alright. I guess we got another bounty coming soon. Now... Hmm, I think I'm gonna swap... Or no, I won't swap weapons. Or weapons, vehicles. I'm gonna stick with the Fire Stingray. But I am gonna change the background of the Fire Stingray pilot card to the one I just got. But yeah, I think for the rest of the stream, I'm just gonna focus on doing these regular battles because... The next Mirror Mode Queen League Grand Prix starts around the time I want to end the stream. So, yeah. For the rest of the stream, I will just be doing regular F-099 races. But 
that being said, though... Whoops. Three, two, one, go. And it looks like the bounty card this time is going to be a reference to... The t not the title screen. The box art for F-099. And I saw you in there, Sage. Don't worry. Hey, you guys get to see what Red Canyon 1 looks like normally. As you can imagine, I'm much more accustomed to this version. Because it's been around longer. Look at how far I boosted, man! Whoa, Nelly! Sometimes I forget you can also hold L or R to lean into a turn. That might be better than just taking a turn normally, depending on the context. Ah! Get up there, game. There we go. Much better. Hey, our friend from before is back. I activated that a little too early. Dang, Sage, you're good at this. Certainly better than me. I say as you smash me into the into the barrier there. I'm catching up. Don't game. This seems like a pretty comfortable place for me to be in. Now I wonder if I can do this in reverse later on this weekend. I may give this a try after I... After I hunt for shiny hair across. Worth a shot, at least. Well played there, Sage. And same to whomever was in that Red Falcon. Hmm. Oh, wait, hang on. Hold up. Look at this. You see that? Look again. Hang on. Oh, never mind. It's not going to do it now. But I could have sworn there was a moment when this F-099 thing here glitched to another course instead of cutting to it. I hope we get to show that later. Also, what's up, Taylor and Squid? How you doing? And yes, Squid, F-099 is still going. I don't know why I accidentally switched to my laughing PNG tuber. Sorry. All right. Let's try this again. Three, two, one, go. Wow, I already got into a full lobby. What do you know? Hmm. I guess I might as well talk about it now. If at any point you come across a glitch in the F-099 selection, that means there's a chance to find 
like what Sage said, a track that is a combination of two of them. I've only seen one in my life, and that is a combination of Fire Field and Mute City 3. I have not seen either of those courses on stream, so I'm hoping I can do that within the next 10 minutes. Or at the very least, we can see a glitched course. Either or, man. Whoa, Nelly! I'll look at chat in a second. I'm kind of focused on the battle here. I'm also really good at this course, so I don't want to mess it up. I love how this one Falcon player's name is Ninja for Hire. Come on, give me a Skyway boost. I need it. I should not have done that. Oops. Just got home from work. It was really slow today. Understandable, Taylor. You've encountered the Fire Field Mute City 3 combo three times. Dang, Sage, you're lucky. All right. One more time. Three, two, one, go. Hopefully that worked. Rats, I don't think it worked. Oh well. Worth a shot at least. Okay, huh. You guys want to experience the pain of Mirror Sand Ocean vicariously? I hate this course. I've beaten it. I can beat it. But that doesn't mean I don't like it. Or do like it. Behold the pain that is Mirror Mode Sand Ocean. If you thought the other one was bad. Definitely did that too late. There we go. We'll do that. Whoa, Nelly! Again. I seem to say that to myself a lot whenever I play F-099 on my own time. It fits, because of how fast you're going. I think it might be opportunistic to stay in back here. There we go. I think that was an alright time for me to use the Skyway Boost. You know, guys, if anything, I'm glad this still confirms at least a little bit that I haven't lost my touch at this game. I like to think I'm good at F-099. I'm not, like, really freaking good. I like to think I have some skill. I hope that's been visible tonight. In games like these where the stakes are high, I always try to put on a good performance, you know? I 
I say as I immediately run into a bunch of electric barriers. Give me those super sparks. And the perfect time for a Skyway boost. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you'll be able to get a really big boost when you're in, like, the top 20. It's rare, but it's possible. I just had that happen. And I've had that happen to me plenty of times on my own. Hmm. Okay, I got multiple people that I can raid. Got just enough time for a couple more lobbies. Okay. Three, two, one, go. I guess that pop-up that showed up before this lobby appeared is another thing I can talk about. In the same update that introduced Mirror Mode, F-099 now has the ability to give random limited time challenges. Those usually offer exclusive boost flares or spin attack flares. If you guys noticed, my boost flare was like a really, a really cool combination of blues and purples. I got it from said limited time challenge. That was the most recent one. And look at that, we're on mirror mode Red Canyon again. Let's see if I can actually win this time. Sorry guys, I may have to go into a deep concentration here in a moment. So I apologize if I miss your messages, but I'm trying to not, you know, combust into flames. Okay, never mind. Okay, that's good to know at least. I can make that boost. I just have to wait until I'm really close to that ramp before I do. Or better yet, I could Skyway boost when I get to it. That's a strategy I didn't think of. Go me. already got a lot more super sparks. For the sake of my own safety, though, I'm not gonna take this again. Ha! Fooled ya. Unfortunately, though, I think I'm stuck in top 30. Yeah. Unfortunate. But hey! At least I know I can actually finish the dang thing! There we go, you love to see it. This next race will be the last one. Then we'll raid someone. All right, let's make it count. Three, two, one, go. Please, for the love of goodness, let's encounter a glitched course this time. I don't know if those have official names, but that's what I call them.
Dang. Okay. Whatever. At least I get one last try on Mirror Mode Red Canyon. Or not. My love for Red Canyon is vast, but it can't beat the love of Mute City, I suppose. If you're in my lobby, good luck out there. Ooh, got a lot of super sparks. But yeah, I hope you guys understand how fun this can get. If you ever want to try out F-099 for yourself, it is available on the eShop, and you can play it so long as you have an active Switch Online membership, like the other Nintendo Battle Royale games. Hey, who said you could do that? Hmm, so-called free thinkers when you go to Mute City 1. I swear. I don't think I'm gonna... You know what, I will take the boost this time, but I won't on the final lap. Since I'm already really close to crashing out. And I just did. Wow, what a way to go. I'll have my revenge. You hear me? Also, what's up, Trex? How you doing? Unfortunately, you caught us at the tail end of the stream. But we're just about to raid someone. Once this raid is over, I'm gonna go straight to this mirror mode queen league grand prix but yes don't go anywhere it's no it's time for the raid my next stream is gonna be either on tuesday or wednesday i don't know which yet but i do know I'm going to be checking out the upcoming season of nesting in Sky Children of the Light. And once I've had my fill of that, I'll be switching over to Splatoon 3 Side Order to finally do my Dooley's run. And that run is going to be special because I will only be picking power and mobility chips for the Dooley's. So, that's going to be really fun, and I hope you guys are able to see it. Now then. Okay, good. The person I wanted to raid is still live. Also, what's up, Potato Soup? How you doing? You caught me just in time for the raid. We're going to be raiding my man Hyper Tiger. Did you guys know there is a... There is a version of the new Super Mario Bros. Mario vs. Luigi battle mode that you can play on PC. Someone made a PC version of it. That's what Hyper Tiger's playing with a bunch of his friends. So, the link to Hyper's stream will appear after I end mine. And you know, I think for the sake of this stream, let's do a custom raid message. Red Canyon Revenge. So there you go. Drop on over to Hyper's stream, give him the custom raid message, hashtag Red Canyon Revenge, and 
I will see you guys back here next week for some Sky Children of the Light shenanigans and some Splatoon 3 Side Order Duelies stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, this is Tentacles signing out. Take care, everybody, and have a great night.